up guys um i have another one of my musings of a single gal videos today and today i thought that i would talk a little bit about the do's and the don'ts of creating your online dating profile so let's just get right into it shall we now you do want to be thorough when you make your um, online dating profile. Now that's not to say that you know you want to ram ramble on but you do want to make sure that all the pertinent information is in there. All the things that you think this person needs to know to determine whether or not they want to pursue anything with you. Now on the other end of that is somebody that rambles on, tells their life story, do not put a four page letter on your profile because a number of things. People are not going to read it and they're going to ask you the questions that you put in your profile when you talk to them. They're still going to, and you're going to be like, well, it was in my profile. And they're going to be like, but your profile was like seven pages long and I couldn't read all of that. So you want to be thorough but concise. And it's, a, it's possible to do both of those things. Just think about the absolute must knows. Stick to those. Nothing more, nothing less works out better. You want to be as honest as you possibly can when you're creating this profile because the thing is, you are wanting to get matched up with the best possible choice. You don't really want to waste your time going out with people that you don't mesh well with or who you have a personality clash with because there's something about you that rubs them the wrong way or vice versa. So you want to be as honest as you possibly can when you make your um, profile. mean by fancy lies. Fancy lies are where instead of saying that you're a dishwasher, um, you call yourself a fine china um, cleansing artist. You're a dishwasher. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with dishwashers. There's somebody out there that loves dishwashers or at least doesn't have a problem with dishwashers. And that's the person that you want. You don't want to tell this fancy <laughs> this fancy lie. And then when they're like, so you're just a dishwasher? And then you're like, I mean, it's more than that. It's an art. What I do with these dishes is amazing and no one else can do it like me. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, please don't do that. Absolutely, a hundred percent. If you have children, people need to know that. For reasons, for reasons. Because there are people like myself who don't have any kids, who are not that interested in dating people with kids. And I've said this on many a video, you know, I'm getting older and so everybody has kids and I'm probably just gonna have to let that go. But I do deserve to know up front whether or not you have children. And vice versa, if I had kids, guys have a right to know I have kids and then they can make a decision because you don't want to be with somebody who doesn't want kids doesn't like kids because you have kids doesn't make any sense this one I mean there might be people that disagree with me obviously there are because I see people posting pictures of their kids all the time here's my thing about that Okay, yeah, you see people post pictures of their kids on Facebook and that's fine and whatnot, but Facebook you have a little bit more control, right? You determine who you're going to be friends with and, and whatnot. On these dating profiles, you have no idea who's going to be looking at your profile. So you don't know if this man is a pedophile or what. You don't know what they're going to do with the kids. Pick. Like I just, I feel like no one really needs to know what your children look like. Do they need to know that you have them? Yeah, please. Let them know. Tell them. But I just, what is the point of them knowing what your kids look like? I don't know. It's just kind of creepy to me. Something that I would just advise to not do. Don't post pictures of your kids. Claim them, please. 
but don't post pictures of them. It's just, there's too many things that can happen and it's just not worth it and it's not necessary, so. Absolutely post pictures of yourself, okay? You know, regardless of if you feel like it's, you know, vain, if you feel like it's superficial, whatever. The point of the matter is we're human beings, we're animals. We are attracted physically to other people. That's one of the first things that you're going to be attracted to. You can't look at somebody and tell if they're a nice person. You don't know. So that initial thing is going to be physical attraction, and that's just kind of the way it is. You're going to get a lot more response with pictures than you will without. So, you know, you don't have to get your sexy, flexy, finest and put lingerie on and post pictures, but you do need to post pictures so that people can at least, one, see your face, two, see your body. And if you have an issue with either of those things, you might want to reconsider, you know, online dating. post pictures that are not of you or that are of you 20 years ago and you know that you don't look like that anymore because you know as nice as you may be and as much as your personality might be winning and might you know get this person to a point where they want to meet you and they're excited and they really like you the point of the matter is you lied and so when you meet them they're gonna be pissed there's really no point in doing that to me you know you want somebody that's going to be able to accept you for who you are exactly what you look like and those are the people that you should want to be with and so to me posting pictures of what you used to look like it's a lie it's a lie of admission you lie or posting pictures of people that aren't you I don't understand catfishing doesn't make any sense to me I don't get it I don't know why people do it um, if you ever plan on meeting these people they're gonna kind of see what you look like probably should just let them know what you look like you know up front I don't know and don't post pictures of vacations you've never taken or places you've never been because then when people are like, oh, I've been there, did you go to this restaurant, you're going to be looking like a fool because you have no idea what they're talking about because those pictures weren't yours, they were pictures you got off Pinterest. So, moral of the story, only post pictures that are yours and post the most current pictures possible so that people know what they're getting because you want that same courtesy. So, give it to others. Do unto others, folks. Do unto others. But that is going to be it for this Musings of a Single Gal. I hope that you enjoyed it. If I'm missing anything, if there's anything that you've seen in your online dating escapades that I missed, um, any profile do's and don'ts that you have, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to read them. I love hearing from you guys. It makes me smile when I get comments. So leave them. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Later, loves. Bye.